What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are back on Nifty 2015 as part of Eddie's challenges. So if you guys didn't already know, this is kind of part of the Let's Play, but I'm not going to class it as that. But anyway, doesn't matter, it's not what we're here to do. Today, we're here to continue with Eddie's challenges. We're on uh, challenge 8, which is a drift race. I'm going to be doing that in my RX-7, which is kind of noise bomb themed. Now, I have changed a few things about this car. I'm going to quickly show you that before we get into this event. Uh, so, you can do a quick 360. Kind of added a few things here and there. Nothing too huge. Anyway, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get straight into this first race. Okay, so here we go. I'm assuming we have to win this race. Uh... Oh, there's some dialogue. So we're halfway there. What do you think of the challenges so far? Uh, most of them suck. Okay, so no highlights at all? Nah, they pretty much suck. Okay, uh, thanks, Eddie. On to the race, then. Uh, okay, so... That was odd. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to carry on doing these races. Um, so I have actually finished uh, the challenges on uh, Xbox. Uh, and I've got to say... For, for, a, for a second month's DLC, the full thing is pretty goddamn good. One issue I do have... Oh! That wasn't good. One issue I do have, and that, this is more specifically with the soundtrack, is it only plays during Eddie's events. It doesn't play, like, in free roam, as far as I know. Um, so having, like, maybe an EA tracks system would be really cool uh, for Ghost to put in. But besides that, I've got to say, the events themselves and the progression, it's, it's, it's great. I love it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! I'm trying to get in that gap and I, I kind of missed. Oh no, that was awful. I've got to say, these the, the, the drift events especially, they've got a lot harder. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this too, but um, and I mean I'm not doing it justice right now because I'm doing very very well now, in this race. But they have got a lot harder. I think I feel like Eddie's challenges, the races in these challenges, they're a lot harder than the kind of vanilla game, which is a very good thing. Uh, now, obviously, my RX-7 is not fully upgraded. Uh, that's why I'm... I mean, I am doing quite well, but I could be doing a lot better if it was fully upgraded because I'm still yet to finish the story on my Let's Play. Um, I think I've got... We haven't actually got much left to do, to be fair. But anyway, uh, with that being said, we're coming up to the end of this race here. Last few seconds, and there we go. First, that was the uh, first challenge of today. Finish. Hi, this is Eddie. You know, from Eddie's challenge... Yeah, I know you're Travis's monkey, but I thought I'd drop you a line to say whatever Travis hopes to get out of this, screw him, okay? As far as I'm concerned, it's about you and me now. Oh, yeah. Melissa says check the app. Alrighty then. So, I'm not sure what that was all about. It was like, screw Travis, he ain't cool, man. Anyway, now we have Rapid Racer, which I've heard is one of the most challenging races in the game. So that means we're gonna go ahead and get our master build out and see what we can do. Okay, so here we go. Now, I'm assuming the characters might have a bit of dialogue here. Okay, so not much, you didn't say much, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this race and see what we can do. Now, I have played this race like once and I honestly didn't have too much issue with it, uh, but it may be a different story on Xbox One. With that being said, it is the Jesus 911 for a reason. It's OP, it's the master build, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, let's just see how we do. Okay, there we go, and across the line, we've got a 31.74 in the first lap. Is that any good? I don't honest, I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Um, I haven't been playing much of Rapid Racer, although I have heard it is the next component pass. But it doesn't seem like it, because I'm 10 seconds in the lead, and I'm doing almost two seconds better than my last lap, so... Come on! Ah! Oh! No! No! Do that awfully! I could have done really good then! Cock! Okay, I'm saying this next lap is probably our last chance to get a good lap. So let's see if we can break 30. I imagine if we break 30, that'll be quite a good time, so... Okay, we've taken that pretty wide there, but we've got away with it, and we're doing very well so far in this lap, surprisingly enough, until there, where I freaking hit the wall! What? Why?! That's the first time Need for Speed's crashed in, like, forever! Okay, well, 
I guess we're gonna have to try that again. A few moments later. And across the line, so we got a 27.72. I'm gonna check, because I have a funny feeling that time is really good. So, as we listen to what the AI, the AI are gonna be saying to us, or the characters are gonna be saying to us, it's Melissa or whatever calls us. I'm gonna go ahead and look what time we got, because I think that was quite good. So, wait for the phone call of Eddie. There we go, we're gonna accept that, and we're gonna go ahead and see. So he survived another one. Well, we won't beat until the final, if your luck will last you that far. Be a shame for you to crash out before you go up against some real talent. <laughs> Check the app for details. Okay, so surprisingly surprisingly enough, I'm number one on my speed wall, and I didn't even mean to, so yes. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe and peace.